Okay, so if you enjoy small waves and then suddenly you force to serve some bigger conditions, yeah. um, those people often want to still catch those smaller waves that they're comfortable with. Mm. So they're not yet ready to deal with that uncomfortable issue of catching a bigger wave. But from your perspective, once you did catch that bigger wave, how much easier was it? Look, it was... Doing, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to try and uh, sugarcoat this. It was still scary. I was. Yeah. I, I, I was super scared. But once you told me those few little things yeah. to help me flow it, so, so that paddling really fast. You then said to me, "Just feel the wave yeah. instead." And once I started feeling the wave, and and, and just what I did was while while we we're out there, I actually practiced just even even the ones that weren't going to break. I just let myself uh, just yeah. get a bit of a glide, just so I could get a bit of a feel as to that motion going forwards, which then made that point where I then went to take off on a wave that much easier because I had a bit more of a, a better feeling. But feeling was the first thing. Then the second thing was that first wave, which I – so I took off on a – I think it was a bomb, okay? It was a, it was a pretty big wave of the set, and it did not end well for me. I got stuck in the lip. I went, I went straight down, got absolutely pummeled. And then when I came up, I had taken the first wave of the set, and then I had to deal with the other ones that, that were coming in behind me. And uh, yeah, it was uh, it was it was an interesting. Probably felt felt like about five minutes, probably, but it's probably only about thirty seconds. But the big problem there was I was looking down. Yeah. I was so I was so worried about the takeoff on this bigger wave that I was looking down. And and you said to me, "That's exactly where I'm going to go because that's where I'm looking." Yeah. So when you do pattern to wave, you always want to pick the line and you want to read how the bottom's moving along the, the shelf or the sandbank that you're surfing mm. on. But when you look down, you, you lose all that information. And um, as soon as you start dropping your chin and looking down, you almost want to flip over, and that's kind of what happened to you. Whereas when you arch your back... Okay, so when my chin went down, that was then going to cause the, yeah. the flip over, yeah. which... The way it's pushing you, your chin's going down, so the tail's lifting. Right. So what I try to encourage is to almost arch your back. And this is the Oreo biscuit classic yeah. here, isn't it? Yeah. Push the tail down. Now, the earlier you start pushing the tail down, you'll feel the wave trying to lift you up. And if you just resist that, the wave has to push you forward. Yeah. And then you can just start gliding into it as it's pushing you, mm. and you've got so much time to stand up. Yeah, so there was uh, the feeling, the not looking down. And what was the other thing that I wrote down? It was, oh, and, and the whole thing was, was to slow down. Yeah. Just slow everything down. There's Don't so many thoughts mind. going through your head mm. that your mind can't process all those thoughts. Yeah. So it's, um, probably only deal with one one bit of information at a time. Yeah. So if you just look where you want to go and just feel it, you'll start making all the right decisions and the right choices. Yeah. So so what I, what I want you to get out of out of out of that was when it comes to taking off on bigger waves where you're you're putting yourself outside of your comfort zone. What really worked for me today was was just uh, because I, I, if, if you try to think, as you just said, if you try to think of too much, then you end up overthinking and then everything yeah. goes wrong. So it was feel the wave, slow down, and instead of looking down, look where I wanted to go. So those three things, as I started to paddle, it was like, okay, feel it, stay stay calm, don't go too erratic, and look about where I want to go. And as soon as I did that, I then was much happier paddling in and taking off on those waves and going down and yeah. in the end i had a had a had a, had a had a really good surf after a hectic first 30 <laughs> seconds but yeah so like that, that, that